Early on in Dragon's Dogma 2, you have the chance to unlock the Sorcerer and Warrior vocations. One lets you cast devastating spells that will make even the mightiest foes quiver with fear, while the other lets you live out your berserk-esque fantasies of swinging around a giant greatsword and slamming it through an ogre's skull. Both are extremely powerful additions to any party early on, and can carry you all the way into the endgame. We'll tell you how to unlock both of them early in this handy guide. To unlock the Warrior and Sorcerer vocations, you first need to head to the capital city of Vernworth, where you'll be led naturally as part of the main story. Once you arrive, talk with the local vocation guildmaster, Klaus. He'll tell you that recent weapon shipments have been stolen by goblins, and he can't register you for the Sorcerer or Warrior vocation unless you bring him the required weapon or bring back the stolen goods. A short trip to the local armorer will reveal that the goblins have been hiding out in Trevel Mine to the east, and you'll find the goods you're looking for there. We should also point out that Brand will send you there as part of the Monster Calling main quest anyway, so make sure you have both quests unless you want to make the trip twice. It's a pretty lengthy journey to Trevo Mine, so make sure that you're well prepared for the trip with a camping kit to rest at a campsite along the way, and that you're well stocked with health restoring consumables like the salubrious drafts and fruit reborrants. The Trevo Mine itself isn't too tough. Predictably, you'll be dealing with a bunch of goblins as you make your way through the caves. If you're a mage, your flagration spell will work wonders and make this a pretty easy trip, but other classes shouldn't have too much trouble either. You're ultimately looking for two gilded chests. The first one, containing the greatsword, is hard to miss and can be found in a large open room about halfway through the mine. To get to the second chest, head through the pathway to the left of the chest and follow it until you reach a room with a bridge. Carefully work your way down to the bottom, and follow the path through a narrow passage to eventually reach the chest containing Grievous Horns, an archer staff. That's a common occurrence in our line of work. Making our report ought to be our next now you can return to Vernworth and bring the weapons to Klaus at the Vernsworth Vocation Guild, and he'll let you register your Arisen and Pawn for the Sorcerer and Warrior Vocations. The local armorer and weapons dealer will also restock with new goodies in case you're looking for an upgrade. But that's it from us! There are still plenty more vocations to find, quests to complete, and monsters to slay in Dragon's Dogma 2. For all that, and more, check out our wiki. And for even more things gaming, stick with IGN.